As everyone's going to be doing a Stratford video, I thought I might do something a little bit different. I'm thinking of doing a week in the life. Let's do it, shall we? Joan is a legend. She's only brought me donuts. <laughs> Cheers, Joni. Diamond, you're a legend. I'm with these retrobates. <laughs> Look, um, oh, yeah. I'm the king. I'm no, the you're king. not. No, you're not. <laughs> And we're on foot. We're on foot. I've only done about a thousand steps a day. That's how much of little I've moved. <laughs> you normally do. <laughs> they were here last time, but I never actually got a chance to uh, have a walk around. So let's have a little look, shall we? How long did it take you to convert it? Six months. This is mad. We'll just, we'll just we'll just just quick. Look at this. And, and, and What's your you Banging. This is incredible. You know, someone that wants to keep her for night. Don't say that, he sleeps around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll be here tonight. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. yeah, he will. Oh, that's it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See you later. Steve, you're gone, mate. So parking up, we've had no issue. Even when we was on in just to wait to go into a show, uh, the police knocked on the door and it was a general, can we have a look? <laughs> because we're the opposite to stealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. It's no stealth. Yeah, stealth don't work, does it, Will? So, stealth don't work, does yeah. it? So you walk in and they walk in and they look at it and go, yeah. Great. Look at this. This is an ex prison yeah, van. I'm not telling you what mine it is. It is absolutely yeah. brilliant. Is it clue? You've got a nice double bed there, well, the French cup bed they call it. You've got a shower and toilet back there. And then look at all this living space. It's beautiful. And then look at this. Look at this. Yeah, you've got the, got the stickers. A nice sticker wall. And look at this. How cool is that? My. He done it himself, but he's mint. Really good. And he gave us a beer. Love it. The vibe walking around here is unreal. Meeting people, seeing everyone, and just having a flipping good time. It is awesome. Well, that's fine. It's good for the flowers, good for the grass. Got grass? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm here with Alex, and this is going to go on the Mongo Rally. So, what's the what's the story? Um, so, the Mongo Rally um, has a rule where you have to buy your car for five hundred pounds or less. Yep. It's got to be one point two liters or less. Um, so, we bought a Vauxhall Aguilo, which is one point two liters, for four hundred and fifty quid. Um, and then we decided that we wanted to do it in a bit of style and a bit of comfort. Yeah. <laughs> Just slightly against the, the rules, but um, so we kitted it out as a, yeah. as a mini camper, and uh, we've got everything in there that we need, really. It looks brilliant. Cooker. That's quality. Yeah, we've got a table to sit around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Food storage. That's quality. <laughs> and you're you're raising money for? Yeah, so we're raising money for two charities, uh, Blesma, which is a charity that works with uh, veterans yeah. uh, who have had like limb loss. Yeah. Sight loss, that sort of thing, um, and uh, Cool Earth, who work with indigenous populations um, to halt deforestation uh, and like sustainable long Two amazing jarries, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll leave all that in the description below, so go check them out. <laughs> Just got back to the motor home. What an after, what a day, what a day. Loads of people coming around, loads of people coming to see you giving so many stickers out, which is fripping amazing. Um, loads of people want the shiny sticker and they've been coming around talking about the shiny stickers. And he's, he's really itching to get it. <laughs> Check it out, I can even do my hair. And, and... <laughs> it's so pretty, isn't it? Oh. Not, not that, not that, the sticker, the sticker. Yeah, I can actually see myself in the sticker. <laughs> and uh, the Motorhome Monday's road show, which is gonna be banging. Stayed at the Motorhome until, I don't know, Maybe one, two o'clock, something like that. We had a little walk around, and uh, yes, yeah, so many people here, and so much good stuff to see. And people are just having a flipping great time. Lauren and Charlie are doing some uh, food right now, because they're legends. Yeah, see what the evening brings. Just chill out, really, because tomorrow's gonna be another busy one. Gotta be up, got ready, get ready to film. 
And uh, yeah, go from there. It's been raining like mad. We're all under Steve's awning. Loz has been cooking sausages and mash. Yes. Look at all this. Table is set. Drinks are flowing, aren't they, Steve? Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, we are all set up here. Look at this. We've got a crane fly there. Ready to <laughs> yeah. That's for dessert. I've got, yeah, I've got my dog bowl oh, all set up. <laughs> Yeah, we're just getting ready for some gravy and then we are good to go. Living the dream. <laughs> we're recording. You know, Daz, you are my favourite, sexiest van lifer by far. Whoa. Hey guys, just checking in on Daz's vlog. He's out there having the way too good a time. Check out the crowd that's built up outside my, my van tonight. That's a party. Good morning, you lovely lot. Right, Sunday morning, day two in the life. <laughs> this morning is the first Moho Mondays Roadshow. <laughs> he says in a croaky pubescent voice. <laughs> we should have a fair, quite a few people turning up today. To come down, um, ask me a question, um, which I don't know the questions already. Um, Tash has screened them. My lovely, wonderful, glamorous assistant. They'll ask me some questions. I'll be put on the spot, try and answer them. And then hopefully, I'll be able to do that. That's the main thing, <laughs> that I don't look too stupid. And then they get a shiny sticker, which will be uh, pretty cool. Ready for the first Mount Home Mondays Roadshow. We're all set up. People are already here. It's happening! Yeah. <laughs> Motorhome Monday's Roadshow for the first time. That went down a tree. I'm gonna go for a bit of a wander. Got stickers, stickers in the pocket, and uh, yeah, just gonna see a few people. Try and get a bit of footage for some upcoming videos, and uh, just have a good time. Really, some sun shining. I've just had fish and chips. Um, I was I was expecting to have burger and chips to be fair, but I've been filming all day for future videos. And then when I got back to the burger van, they were they were shutting up, so there was no. Uh, that weren't gonna happen, but just got a Pepsi. This one's from a Soda Stream. Uh, no one is on tour. I forgot. They've just uh, shown me the Soda Stream with the uh, Pepsi Max, which was uh, brilliant. Now we're getting ready to do a live stream in Nils, and then I'll probably flake out and sleep, 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 because I am knackered today. I've met so many nice people, done loads of filming and everything, and it's been an absolute blind of a show. But now I am almost dead. <laughs> Look behind the scenes, getting ready for the live stream. Got all the cameras in, all the gear. Darren's got no idea. I need to get one of these. No, we don't need that. You need that. Product placement is that. <laughs> yeah, ready to go. I just want to take a minute to thank this week's sponsor, which is Readly, the online magazine subscription service, which has got over 5,000 magazines for you to download. They're amazing. We've, I've partnered with them before. Um, I love all their fishing magazines. They've got tons of fishing magazines, which you can have online, offline. You can download them whenever you want. You can see from this video, I don't have much time when I'm on shift and that, but when I do get 20 minutes here and there, I like to grab my tablet and then uh, open a, a magazine and flick, usually flicking through the, the fishing ones. But lately, as I am going full time in a year's time-ish, I've been looking through the travel ones, and then I've got my notes app um, in the next in the next screen. So I'm looking at these like nice travel places and I'm going, oh, where's that? And then I, and I quickly take and uh, flick to the next app, my notes, and I write the note down, right, France and such and such location. Then I flick back to the app, uh, the, the, the uh, flick back to Readly and I'm having a look, having a look, go and see where I'm looking. And all these places that look amazing to go and visit. I don't know when I'm going to visit them or how I'm going to visit them or why. They just look amazing in these magazines because they're all professional photos and yeah, I love I love looking at them. But you've got all the food magazines, which come on, I love that. Um, you've got loads of motorhome magazines, which I do dip into quite a, quite a bit, um, but not as much as the travel and the fishing, to be fair. Um, but yeah, the fishing, the back catalogue of the fishing magazines is amazing. 
because you know me, because you know me, <laughs> I'm good to you guys. I'm good to you guys. I got you one month's free subscription. Nothing to pay. Nada. Zilch. Zero. Nothing. If you use a link in the description below, um, and it'll also be in the first comment, a pinned comment, um, and then it's seven ninety nine a month. You can cancel any time. No long term subscriptions. You can use it on your on your phone, your tablet, your desktop. You can use it over across multiple devices. And uh, yeah, check out Readly. Cheers, guys. Good morning. Day three, I think, in the life. <laughs> Started with bacon. We had a nice chilled night last night. We stayed out until about, I think it was about one in the morning. Just uh, hanging out at the side of the Radfords motorhome, all just having a good old chat and good old chill out because trying to decompress, you know. It's quite, quite full on. Some of you lot are amazing. You've given me some gifts, which I don't expect at all. But I've been given some uh, uh, bacon socks, which are freaking amazing. Beer's given to me, some Pepsi Max, which is legendary. I've had cake given to me. And I can't forget, can't forget, I've been given, uh, been given some fishing rods, which is, oh, you guys are freaking amazing. I don't, bye. bye. <laughs> All packed up, everything's everything's been put away. Um, just freshly showered. Use the facilities for the last time. Steve's gone. Quite a lot of a lot of us have gone already. I'm gonna hit the road in probably the next 20 minutes. Take an easy ride back down. A couple of hours, two and a half hours. Get a few supplies ready for work. That's where I'm at work for the next three days. And then I know where I'm going to park, get a quick takeaway, park up, and literally chill. Chill, chill, chill until tomorrow night when I've got work. So let's hit the road. Time to go shopping at Lidl's. Get a few supplies, get a few bits and bobs, grab them and get to the park up. Right, I was gonna get some, get a takeaway or something tonight, but I've just grabbed a bag of chicken wings. Can't really be asked, just fanning around with a, a takeaway, so I'm just gonna get parked up. I'm about 10, 10, 15 miles away from my park up for tonight. Just parked up, pat the uh, shopping away really quickly. I'll put the fridge stuff away. It's called uh, half six in the evening and I'm near a little canal. So I thought, why not go for an hour's fishing? Got a little, little rod, see if I can go spinning. Catch a couple of perch, maybe a little pike. So just go out for hour, hour and a half before it gets dark. Unfortunately, it didn't catch anything, but nice way to spend an hour and a half. It's almost eight o'clock now, so just heading back to the motorhome and I'm gonna chuck some wings and wedges in the oven and relax. <laughs> Here we go. Time for some wings and some wedges. Whilst well, I think I'm gonna watch uh, Runner Runner. Never seen it before, so let's whack that on. Well, we have some Good wings. morning. Well, I have had a lovely, lovely lay-in. That sofa's deadly for falling asleep on. First sleep on there till about, I think it's half 12. I was watching, I didn't watch that movie in the end, I just watched some goggle box. I woke up this morning about seven and then I thought, do you know what? <laughs> Cause I am still, I am knackered. I just went back to bed and it's now about 10, half 10. I'm gonna do some pottering around the motorhome. Might do some hoovering, do some bits and bobs. Um, sort my lunch out for work today, uh, tonight. And uh, yeah, have some lunch or something. Cause it's not, I'm not gonna have breakfast and lunch. I'll just have lunch. Um, and then that's it really. Everything's 
uh, put away. Been uh, taking loads of footage off the memory cards. Now I've got um, uh, Mr. Brains pork faggots and some wedges for lunch slash dinner because it's just one one meal and then I'm uh, have a snooze before tonight and then uh, you go work 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 work. Good evening. No, no, you haven't missed a day. <laughs> it's still Tuesday. You haven't missed a day. Um, it's now about eight o'clock at night. So I've not, no, it's about half eight at night. I've not long been up. Um, I start work at quarter past 10 tonight. So just sorted all my lunch. Um, just gone, got all that sorted. Make sure the motorhome's ready to travel. And then, um, yeah, start making my way over to work. Crack on with my night shift. Getting my lunch ready for work tonight. So this is what I'll have. This is the main thing I'll have. So I've got um, some like, chopped bacon and a little bit of chopped sausage in there. Um, and grease proof. And I've got some eggs, which I'll crack in to make the scrambled egg. Cut a uh, cheese slice and a little pot of mayo and burger sauce. That's really what I eat at work, to be fair. I'll heat it up at wherever I am. I've got my my Pepsi's uh, with a little ice pack, a couple of yogurts, some rounds of sandwiches, there's a couple of chocolate bars and a couple of little mini packs of, ch packs of mini cheddars. Fair, I don't really eat much of this, I drink all the drinks and maybe the yogurts but the rest I don't really touch but it's there just in case I'm on a long shift or anything so I've got food if I need it or if I'm out far or for whatever reason. I've got it. It is 3.30 in the morning. Just got to my first, just got to my drop off location in Leicester. Um, using their microwave just made me, uh, made me lunch. So eggs and, eggs and bacon scrambled. Lovely. Gonna scoff this and then, uh, yeah, get back on the road once they've unloaded me. Right, that is me done for the day. Just a 10 hour shift. So now back to my home, go find a park up. up um i haven't got out of the motorhome um when i park up i tend to not get out of the motorhome so i'm not really gonna show where i'm parked up in this little in this video because they have real my local haunt so I'm trying to keep them to myself really i was thinking should i make something for my dinner but I'm not overly hungry but i am tired so the first night back after um Getting back onto normal sleeping pattern and then going back to night sleeping pattern can be a killer. So I might just jump in bed and then make something later on. I'm back in tonight at 11. So good fun. It's half five in the evening. Woke up a little bit peckish, but I can't be asked to cook anything. So <laughs> I've just got a bowl of tuna. A bowl of tuna mayo. Um, gonna scoff that and then probably just hit the hay again for a couple of hours. I'm at bit work at 11 tonight, so I'll probably sleep to about 9-ish. And then, uh, yeah, get my butt to work. <laughs> uh, it's about half 10 now. Um, lunch is all ready. Woohoo! Sandwiches are made. Um, I ate one sandwich from yesterday, so <laughs> I just made one more just to replace it. Um, yeah. Lunchbox is all done, just got to pack my bag now and then uh, set off really. I think I parked about four or five miles from work, so not too far. Don't know where I'm going tonight, so might be local, might be not, might be long distance. We will find out, we will find out. Right, I said I didn't really want to show exactly where I am, but you know, I am quite industrial, so there's a lorry parked up behind me. And there's me parked here, and probably another lorry will come along later. What would these be in my uh, my local spots? I don't really want to share them too much, because well, I need to use them for the future. So uh, yeah, you can. I hope you can appreciate that. Um, but maybe I'll do a a week in their life when I'm out on the road somewhere and I've got a week to do something, and I'll show you exactly everywhere I park. So that'll be fine. Yeah, quick pit stop in Tesco's grab a few bits rather do it now than do it when I finished so uh, yeah Pepsi's needed <laughs> <You've> got Pepsi <laughs> right 
Time to chuck this in the motor home and get to work. I'm on the bay at my second job. Looks like it's going to be a long one today, probably about 13, 14 hours, which is what it is. Make my way back to the yard, finish up, and then uh, go park up. I think I might grab something to eat today, I'm not sure. I'm feeling a bit peckish because I didn't eat too much yesterday. <laughs> First, you ate nothing yesterday. Um, it's just turned quarter past one, so 13 and a half hour shift. I think I might go grab something to eat um, and then <laughs> just die. <laughs> I need to answer a few emails, answer a few socials, um, try and get a few of them done, and then, yeah, get some sleep ready for tonight. Last night's like, woo! Then I'm off to Lincoln, the Lincoln show. I was going to go and get maybe a cheeky takeaway. I was thinking about a KFC or something, but, <laughs> and I'll be honest, I went to go and get one. And could I get parked? Could I? Hell. So, I circled twice, couldn't find anywhere to park, so I was like, right. Just abandon that. It's now like two o'clock. I'm just gonna have a couple of eggs on toast um, and then hit the hay because time is a cracking on. Um, this is more like my normal days, not like yesterday. Yesterday was a was a, a, a golden rarity. Um, so yeah, this is more like my normal days. So I'm gonna crack crack some uh, eggs on toast, um, watch ten minutes of TV, and then literally hit the hay I think. Eggs on toast in the trusty dog bowl. Bit of goggle box, then bed. <laughs> Good evening. It's now quarter to eleven. I start at half eleven tonight. Um so I think I went to bed about half three, quarter to four. I've slept as long as I could, you know, got a bit of, got a fair amount of sleep. Again, I'm only about five miles away, so not far at all. Last night, get tonight done, then I'm on the road again, on the way to Lincoln. Haha. <laughs> Gonna meet up with the Radfords and John and Tash from Life Beyond Bricks. So, meet them up there, and then yeah, see what Lincoln has to offer. Right, I have just finished work. Plans have changed. I was going to race straight up to Lincoln, um, but I had a message from my mum last night saying that there's a parcel at her house, which I'm very excited about. And then I had a message this morning on my email saying that there's another parcel being delivered there. I'm thinking, pick up the original parcel, wait for the other parcel, and then chuck up uh, the essential clothes on like a 35 minute, a 30 minute wash or a 45 minute wash, while I wait for the parcel, maybe chuck it in the tumble dryer and then hit the road. It's like a thousand birds with one stone. <laughs> but I do need to hit the road pretty darn quick because I want to get up to Lincoln. Uh, I can't wait to get this parcel. Right, I shoot to my mum's. So this is the parcel I come to get. I've already opened it. Make it easy to show you. And look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, oh yes. New number plate for the motorhome. How cool does that look? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Yes. <laughs> this is real. Right, so uh, I didn't, I tumble dried uh, my underwear and all the bits I needed to, the big bits really. All the t-shirts, I've spun them in, in the washing machine a few times, so they're pretty much dry. But I've just left them there. The roof vents cracked. So now they can uh, air dry whilst I drive to Lincoln. So I haven't got time to be hanging around. So it's like a, it's like a Chinese laundrette in here. But once I get going, the, the air will be flowing. So it should, should be good. Dad's got the road, Lincoln. Oh, God. It took me like four four hours maybe a bit more to get up here because of traffic because people are panic buying fuel and i actually had to get fuel i only had a quarter of a tank when i left hertfordshire so i had to put into a, i think i stopped at like four or five stations and they're all empty because <laughs> panic buying is uh, uh broken out i finally found some fuel when i paid like one pound 51 a liter but hey ho i'm here i'm here and uh, parked up, there's me, there's Radders, hey. and there's John and Tash, and Georgie. Yeah, there's George. Hi. <laughs> Look at this queue. Look at this queue. That's for tonight's entertainment. And I mean, this is. Oh, the queue goes even that way as well. <laughs> it is. How you I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I need to sort them at home out because I've got all that laundry still hanging up and I think stickers have gone everywhere, things moved. Um, 
Uh, might grab a bite to eat and then we'll uh, catch up in a bit. Time to eat hot dog. <laughs> Steve and Lisa got curry and chips. Yeah, baby. Yes. <laughs> right, let's scoff this and then, uh, yeah, might, might call it an evening tonight. Bit, bit, bit knackered. We'll probably crack on tomorrow. Morning. It is now Saturday, so that is one week I've been filming. I overslept a bit. I didn't even set an alarm and like, it's about 9, 9.30. Start in the morning, right? <laughs> it's the only way, Bruce. It's the only freaking way. None of that dirty stuff you drink. Anyway, gonna have this drink, wake up a bit, and then uh, let's see what happens for the day, really. Saturday afternoon, gonna go down to the uh, main area, have a look, see what stalls are about, see what's down here. And yeah, just check out what's going on at the Lincoln. Uh, just roaming around and just bumped into the cable guy. I've, I've seen these cables on Insta and uh, yeah, they're meant to be really, uh, they look really cool. So I'm going to try them out and uh, yeah, give them a go. Just editing the video and I wanted just to uh, quickly talk about this, the breakaway cables. So basically they are one cable magnetic end, um, which attach to all these different ends. So you have a USB type C, iPhone, uh, mini USB. Um, they all come with it um, in the box. You plug them into your devices like in the bottom of your iPhone, in the bottom of your tablet, even in like my Bluetooth speaker. It's just magnetic straight on, bosh, and it's charging straight away. You finish charging that, you thingy, and, it, and if anything happens, I'll let it charge it straight away. Um, and if anything happens, you know, you're running around, it just rips off. It doesn't doesn't pull it out of that because that's already stuck in there. And then that's just magnetic, so no problem. I said to the guy I'd give him a give him a, uh, a trial and uh, have a go of them. And yeah, I've been using them for the last couple of months. I've got an extra couple. Um, I sent him a message saying, yeah, I love these. Um, can you send me some more? Um, so yeah, they've uh, they worked out really well. So I can definitely say I've tried them and tested them and they work well. So yeah, if you want to uh, have a look, then I'll put them in the description below. And I think he's done a package deal, so you can get like a family package, so you get a load of cables and a load of these. So check in the description below, and uh, normal viewing will resume now. We're at the sausage stall. <laughs> yes, can't be a sausage stall. <laughs> they got some banging black pudding. Yeah, that was good. It is good, isn't it? Yeah, but we've got, we've got some... Uh, Got some burgers, got some uh, sausages, and lots of black pudding. So that is us sorted for tonight and the morning. Yeah, look at this. No vegans allowed. Sorry. <laughs> Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Right, had a good look round. It's really uh, pretty cool down there. There was loads of stuff, and uh, yeah, had a nice look round. So, yeah, that is a week in the life of me, the urban motorhome. If you've uh, enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. If not, <laughs> why are you still watching? Make sure you check out this video or this video because they are absolute bangers i must say so myself and i will catch you guys on the next one take it easy bye